I expect he'll get some kind. Am I, can I do the announcement? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the President and Nancy Reagan. I'm sorry to have been a little late getting here. I've been lobbying. <laughs> and, well, welcome to the White House. We're delighted to have you here. And it is an honor to have you here today. You did so much to help make possible the great victory that we all shared on November 6th. And, and I'd give a special thanks, except they're not here, to two of the driving forces, Drew Lewis and Joe Rogers. But so in absentia, thanks. You know, our democracy depends on civilian involvement, not just at the national level, but in wards and neighborhoods across the country. And you in Victory 84 understood that. Together you raised funds that were spent down at the grassroots in all 50 states. Those funds went toward aspects of the campaign that may not have been glamorous, but they sure as heck were important all the same. Things like telephone banks, stationery, even Reagan Bush signs to put up in people's yards. Uh, you can't tell you what it means along the trail there where you're having to ask again, now what town are we in and so forth, but you'd go by and see those signs out in the yard and then your spirits would begin to perk up. You gave volunteers the materials they needed and some 600,000 of them responded by taking part in our campaign. And the results speak for themselves. Four million new Republicans registered, 525 electoral votes, and in 49 out of 50 states, outright victory. Uh, one of those states we're thinking of sending an aid to the Contras. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, we have some friends here from the Lone Star State, and I believe you all agree, even by Texas standards, we did a mighty fine job. Now, this wasn't just an impressive political victory, a win just like the rest, only bigger. Now, in this campaign, I believe we participated in a, a decisive moment in the history of our nation, a moment when the American people repudiated the failed ways of tax and spend and chose instead to stay the course of individual liberty, limited government, and economic growth. Having won this great victory, however, other battles loom before us. On the economy, we struggle to cut deficit spending and to cut it deeply. Later this spring, when we introduce our tax reform package, we'll begin the fight to lower tax rates in order to provide new incentives for economic growth. On national security, we must see through to completion our efforts to rebuild America's defenses, resisting those who would endanger our nation by settling for less. In foreign policy, we must continue the long struggle for freedom. But before I go on with that subject, I know of the drumbeat of propaganda and demagoguery to which you've been subjected with regard to defense, that somehow this is, well, the $400 hammers and so forth. And you wonder what's going on. Well, let me tell you that our defense spending as a percentage of the gross national product and as a percentage of the budget is lower than it has historically been. Actually, our budget this year for defense is $16 billion less than the defense budget that President Carter had projected for 1985. And the $400 hammers we're the ones that are finding those figures and exposing them. This is what has been going on. And we are the ones that case after case, we come across this, dig it out. There have been hundreds of indictments. There are hundreds of millions of dollars of rebates already. So don't tag defense uh, with things of that kind. Uh, we're the doctors that are killed. Today, to get back to freedom again, the freedom fighters in Nicaragua 
are locked in combat with a regime that's intent on fomenting terror, instability throughout Central America, a regime which could send millions of refugees across our own borders. The freedom fighters need our support and deserve it. In each of these battles, we'll need your support. November saw us share one great victory for America, and I think together, my friends, we can still win more. I've got a story, and maybe you've heard the joke already, but I think it illustrates the kind of people that sometimes, well, in this lobbying I've been doing, that uh, up on the hill, the uh, three of them the other night were locked out of their car. And uh, one of them said, well, you know, get a clothes hanger. And we, oh, somebody says, somebody will see us and think we're stealing it. And the other one said, wait a minute, I got a pen knife. We can cut away a little of the rubber around the window, get our hand in. The other one said, no, then they'll think we're too stupid if they see us to use a coat hanger. <laughs> and the third one, the third one says, we better do something pretty quick because it's beginning to rain and the top's down. <laughs> And just, uh, and just one last one, and then I've got to quit because I've got to get back to that phone. That was what kept me late here. I'm still lobbying. And that lobbying makes me, reminds me of a story that is told about Moses when he stood in the Is Israelites with their backs at the Red Sea, and he called on the Lord for help. He said, Pharaoh has the Egyptians massed before us, our backs to the ocean. We must have help. And the Lord said, I will put a pillar of fire in front of the Egyptians to hold them off, and I will part the waters of the Red Sea, and the children of Israel can walk through safely. Then I'll let the fire go out, and when the Egyptians try to follow, the waters will envelop them, and you will be saved. But he had said in telling that, he says, that's the good news. There is some bad news. And Moses said, well, what is the bad news? He said, you will have to make out the environmental impact statement. <laughs> Well, all right, thank you all very much. I think so. I'm looking for Dave to see. I'm just looking to see if I'm getting the signal out there. They hold him on the phone, and then I go, and my first words are MX. <laughs> How about one word for Colorado, George? How are you? Nice seeing you. Nice. I expect to just Charlie, that's okay. That's okay. It's just such a 